was young, sport was very important to me. He was an ex-national swimmer for Malaysia, where in the national polo team, competed in the Southeast Asian Games, won a silver medal, and also a black belt in martial arts. We did a lot of Kung Fu with him growing up. He was a great Kung Fu master. He helped you to ride your bike and bandage up your knee when you fell over and that kind of thing. He's always been there. He's, you know, he's, he's solid as a rock. We were watching a TV programme and something happened in the programme and um, he tried to tell me what he thought, but he couldn't speak, which was really weird. He could only nod, but he couldn't, he couldn't say, he couldn't get it out. I just called my mum and called an ambulance straight away. I got a call from my sister telling me that he'd uh, had a, a TIA. And then he had a proper stroke, one every day for three days. And I got a phone call saying I'd better come home because uh, I might have to come back and say goodbye. I didn't know where I was. Half my body is not responding. It's very frustrating and frightening. It was like we lost him in the space of, you know, three days. For him to not be able to speak was just devastating. For the first two weeks, I can only say, hello. I remember calling his flat to speak to my mum and she didn't get to the phone in time and the answer phone came on and it was a message he'd recorded obviously before he had the stroke and I heard his voice on the answer phone and I thought I wonder if I'll ever hear it again like that. That was probably when it really hit me that we weren't sure if he was ever going to go back to the way he was before. He came out of hospital in the November and my son was born on the 16th of December. As soon as he held Noah he said to me I want to play football with him when he's old enough. He actually started to really work hard with his physiotherapy. Brother-in-law had him grabbing tennis balls and doing certain exercises, basically trying to get movement back into, into, the, uh, into the places where he lost that kind of motion. I had a, uh, a nurse that comes twice a day, helping me prepare meals and all that. I tell her, uh, please let me do it. You watch me. Within three weeks later, she said, OK. Uh, I, my time is up now, you got to look after yourself. And then I, I did. He's driving, rides a motorbike, just did a speech at my brother's wedding in Taiwan last month. His road to recovery has been quite amazing and he's shocked a lot of people actually, yeah. When I had my stroke, I didn't think that I had the enough strength to go on the bike and I was forced to sell them. Last year, I decided to try and I bought the same bike. I man managed to get on it. Once you're a biker, you're always a biker. There's not no feeling like that. There's nothing that I don't think he, could, he couldn't do now. I didn't think he could ever ride a bike again and you know, didn't think he could cook or play the guitar and all those kind of things and he's doing all of them. He's got two young grandkids which he loves to play with and, and, and look after. So, uh, no, I don't think he'll be slowing down. Hopefully he'll be uh, speeding up, if anything. The only thing we have left to do now is run a 10K together. But he seems quite up for it again, so that's really good.